Welcome back to the show. Oh, we're going to have fun. <laughs> we are. We are. <laughs> Just keep thinking that. <laughs> Welcome back. Our next guest is ready to get you in the mood for some loving for Valentine's Day. And if the wine doesn't do it, she's got some foods that are scientifically proven to make you fall in love or at the very least like. Please welcome back to the show, our first guest in a month, the one and only wine diva, Leslie Miller, friends. All right, are you ready for this? Yeah, so the, the theme, you always have a theme, so this is stuff to make us want to have make whoopee, right? Make whoopee, That's yes, right. That's absolutely. That's what they used to say on the newlywed game. They did, That's I That's right, the that. FCC wouldn't shut you down if you said whoopee. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, speaking of whoopee, we're going to start with strawberries and pomegranates because these are the goddesses' foods. The, okay. the really the goddesses of aphrodisiac, which is named after, after Aphrodite, who she was known for actually planting the first pomegranate tree. Well, Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Here we go. I Jane. didn't know that we were going to have Aphrodite fun facts in yes. this segment. And then Venus, also the goddess of love. She was really known for the color red, and she was known to be uh, the person who ate a lot of strawberries. Okay. Okay. So these two foods are yeah. very aphrodisiac oriented, and they're supposed to promote love. The, you know where I learned that? Pretty woman. Yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> I learned everything picnic. I needed to know. That's and right. is that true? The carpet picnic. It, no, but <laughs> the carpet picnic. But Richard Gere says strawberries bring out the taste of the champagne. Is that true? Are we really taking wine tips from Richard Gere? <laughs> Are you really busting on Pretty Woman on our show? No, I love Is that Pretty true, though? But no, is, it, is, that a is that an old wives' tale? Yeah, it's kind of false. It's kind of fake news. Oh, my goodness. You I just know. Ruined, you've ruined the illusion that I've had since 90. Anyway, okay, let's okay. put the headphones ba back on, yeah. put her back in the tub. So am I supposed drinking. to, is this this? Yeah, so this is a fun little bubbly, actually, from France. This is delicious. It's brand new. I love it. It's Ooh. around $15. Mm -hmm. It's Gamay, a little Cab Franc. But this, I do love a bubble with strawberries and pomegranates. Yeah. And I think a rosé is perfect for that. You, ha you hear the music? I put in a little Barry White on for you. <laughs> you stand over there. <laughs> Don't worry. If there's anybody in the studio you're safe with, it's me. <laughs> okay, let's talk about these avocados. Right? Yeah, let's. So avocados are um, known to, in the aphrodisiac world, known to promote um, a little happiness in our in in people like you and males and uh, okay mm -hmm. oh yeah. got it got yeah. it yeah people <laughs> like me men men <laughs> okay leo enough with the it's barry little, white i'll yeah. call the when we need when she starts to get a little frisky i'll call for the barry white okay so the but, avocados are good for the men's yes it is it is it, it excites you okay yes it does but now <laughs> sauvignon blanc yeah. and chardonnay are actually two grapes that go beautiful with avocado so if you're going to decide to whip up some guacamole or slice a little extra avocado onto your partner's uh, meal for uh valentine's day Oof. <laughs> yeah how do you feel woozy i was no i was worried you were putting the okay anyway continue okay. i didn't know all kidding aside though i did not know yeah. that that avocados are good for the guys yeah it's really good okay. now speaking of more potassium here which is also really good for guys okay really kind of gets the engine started okay got it so I, I like something a little bit sweeter with bananas i did a little um off dry riesling to go with bananas but now we're also talking about figs which in the history in the world of you know aphrodisiac foods people talk about sort of the lusciousness of figs and the sensuality of the smell and the flavor of figs and i love zinfandel and figs so if you're maybe going to do like a chocolate covered fig for valentine's day okay zinfandel is beautiful Figs. I, yeah. I just, I, all of our silliness aside, I had no idea that. Now, are figs good for, for everybody, or is it They're, just for the dudes? Figs are good for everybody. Okay. And you're often seen with figs, like you know, a partner maybe feeding them to to another person. Figs. Okay, I gotta tell you, <laughs> if there's something I'm not gonna feed to my partner, it's gonna be figs. It's not gonna be figs. So, <laughs> because look at that. That's a real unsexy food item. It's not. You know, it's shrivelly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a weird brown f color. You're right. Let's no. move on to the. Chili I was just going to say, I'm not going to be. <laughs> that's not melting my butter, Leslie. You're right. It's okay. not. It's not. Let's but continue. they're dried figs. Perfect. So chilies. Now, what this does is it really raises the blood pressure, right? Okay. So it's kind of stimulating your energy. Um, and chilies, if you want to kind of zhuzh up some spice for Valentine's Day. This is it. Quite literally. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Get the engine moving here. So I love Barbera 
Barbera and chilies kind of take some of that heat out a little bit, okay. but makes sense with kind of the earthiness of peppers. Again, for everybody, the pepper, pepper love. Oh yeah, the oh pepper. yeah. Really? Spice, peppers. spice in general. Yeah, but really, like in the pepper family, just keep throwing it into your who's ever <laughs> smoothie in the morning. You wanna <laughs> whoever you're just, taking to the red know. roof in. <laughs> Yes, Feed them right. peppers. Feed them peppers. <laughs> now there is, you know, a lot. Of, Come a, on, honey. Here you go. Show. Put this in your wine. Put that in your wine. <laughs> okay, finally. Okay, finally. Now everybody talks about chocolate this time of year. Yeah. But we've done chocolate and wine segments, and we've done yes. And we've let's be clear. In seven <laughs> years, we've, we've put wine with lot. everything. We yeah. have. So there, I always say that chocolate and wine are not the best pairing. They're you really, do say that, yeah. Yeah, but there is this tiny little secret that white chocolate okay. and Pinot Noir are pretty fabulous. So you actually should try it. Okay, I'll try it. Yeah, so try a little white chocolate and uh, Pinot Noir. So chocolate just in general really does increase sexual desire and also arousal in women. So, <laughs> sign. I mean, these are historical. This is, is there science. a different chocolate for the gays? I mean, can I, I get a, I is there another, can I get a, is there a gay chocolate I can have? This does nothing for me. Like it doesn't? Oh. Here, have a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> or a fig. Actually, mm. you need an avocado. I do. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> what do you think about that pairing, though, in all honesty? Oh, I didn't. Hold on a minute. Oh. <laughs> So white chocolate, I and mean, this is a very strange pairing, not something mm. that you would think of because you'd think of something maybe a little bit sweeter yeah. in the wine side of things. Mm. But Pinot Noir and white chocolate, really kind of mm. an outside of the box. You have a smirk on your face. You're, but, real, you're real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I need some wine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Leslie. For more information, <laughs> go to amusewine.com. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with some gay chocolate right after this. <laughs> <laughs>